Well, welcome to Bartlow's Barbecue, and I have some exciting news. We have launched our very first rub and seasoning called Sweet Red Dirt, and I want to give you a little bit more behind the scenes, why we launched this, why I think you should try it. So stick around, and we'll get right into it. From my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Let me tell you about the name Sweet Red Dirt. I'm from Oklahoma, and here in Oklahoma, the southern states, the Midwest states, there is a red dirt. And I wanted to create a product line and a rub and a seasoning names that really ties me to my Oklahoma and also Midwest roots. So again, that's where we came up with Sweet Red Dirt on the name. But more importantly, I created a barbecue rub and seasoning and I know the market could be saturated. And you might be wondering, man, why did you create a rub and seasoning? Well, one, I just love creating and starting new things. I, I consider myself kind of an entrepreneur. Uh, in my full-time job, I'm a pastor and you may not know that. And I really believe it's important to create environments where we really express love in this world. And so I wanted to create a product and really this channel is all about that. Not only teaching you barbecue grilling tips, but also creating a community uh, that helps produce less hate, more love and good barbecue. So I wanted to create a product that helps me connect to my community that helps foster that vision of creating less hate, more love, good barbecues, because our world needs it. We have a lot of hate in this world and we need more extravagant love in this world. For me, that is centered on my relationship with Jesus. And no matter what you believe, you probably would agree that we need more love in this world. And so what better way to create environments where we can connect with neighbors, connect with family, connect with friends, connect with people that need more love and less hate by connecting over food, most importantly, barbecue. And it just brings people together. And so I just love helping teach and create environments where we can help you become a backyard barbecue and grilling hero, but more importantly, help you connect with the people that you love through good barbecue. And that's the vision of this channel is that we want to create a community that does that. And we just happen to grill and barbecue. So I hope that gives you a little bit understanding of the name of Sweet Red Dirt, a little bit more vision behind this channel. And I would love for you to support it if this is something that you are about and you wanna be a part of this community. And I'm here to support you as well, not only learn and grow together around barbecue and grilling, but I'm here to support you. If you need a community, you wanna be a part of a movement like that, uh, I would love to support you. You can email me, DM me as well. And I'd love to be praying for you if that's something you need. Well, I'm now going to get into the uh, aroma and the flavor profile of what Sweet Red Dirt is all about. And I'm going to bring in, show you a little bit more of what this is all about, and hopefully you'll give it a shot. Let's talk about the aroma and the flavor profile of Sweet Red Dirt. And I'll put this on the screen with some product shots as we're discussing these features of Sweet Red Dirt. Let's start with the aroma. It's very peppery. It's got a garlic, an onion, and a smoky aroma when you kind of sniff it at first uh, and a little sweet and heat as well and that's why we have it called sweet red dirt uh, what you're going to find on the flavor profile is it's a balance of sweet and heat it's not too strong on the heat side and it's not too strong on the sweet side where you feel like you're eating a donut <laughs> on some rubs out there and i feel like i, I really wanted to create something that had a, a balance for someone that's not just um, you know a pit master, but someone that is in their kitchen cooking, you know, you know chicken, whatever it might be, uh, someone that's a novice, I wanted something that was balanced, uh, when, that could be good on everything. So we have a, some sweet and a heat to it, and really what you're going to find is you're going to find that that uh, sweetness up front and the back end is going to be a little earthly and also uh, a little bit more heat on the back end uh, but it's well balanced and so again on flavor profile we've got smoky sweet kind of salty earthy with some chili flavors and you might be wondering what the heat is and we've got some not only paprika for color but also some chili chipotle and a few other ingredients 
uh, in there as well to give it that nice aroma and also balance flavor profile. So now we're in talk about a little bit more about what our customers are saying, what they're using it for. So I'm gonna bring those reviews up and we'll talk about that right now. All right, friends, let's read some reviews from the website. And this has been really fun because we've been getting people sending us pictures of what they're using it on. And it's not just traditional barbecue. That's why we called it a seasoning as well because it's really good on everything that you might want to season. So here's a few right here, the rub, is my new go-to for everything on the smoker and grill. It's perfect balance of sweet and heat on meat and veggies. The salt isn't too overpowering and either, so I load it up on the seasoning on my bigger cuts of meat. And they also use it on their mashed potatoes, this one customer said. Another person said, again, perfect and well-balanced. That's a theme that we're hearing. Great seasoning, it's now my favorite rotation. Uh, it's balanced and works well on a variety of proteins and veggies. Makes for a delicious product. So grateful for that. Uh, another person, they use it on their steak, pork chops, grilled chicken, scrambled eggs. They love the taste. Uh, someone used to say, I used to use Tony's Cajun on everything. Now I found a new go-to. That's really kind. Uh, another friend said, um, it starts off with just a right amount of sweet AP flavors, but it has this nice finish to it that's warm and pepper finish. Uh, they haven't found a protein that doesn't pair well with it. And then my favorite uh, comment of all is that we've won over a vegan. I made a wonderful, flavorful, and enjoyable vegan barbecue pulled pork sandwich with dinner. And I think it's a great addition to a vegan black bean burger as well. Even some sweet potato wedges totally works for vegan and vegetarians too, not just for meat lovers. And the reviews go on and on. So what you're finding here is that Sweet Red Dirt is really a true all-purpose uh, rub and also seasoning that you could try. Um, we particularly love it on chicken and pork, but we also enjoy brisket and uh, and things like that and steak. I love it on steak as well. Right now I've got a, a, a 20 pound packer for a reunion I'm cooking uh, with our Sweet Red Dirt, so it's great on beef. But our favorite go-to, but mainly because my kids love pork chops and chicken, we cook that and it just, amps up that chicken and pork to the next level. And my friends, you, you haven't tried um, Sweet Red Dirt without eating chicken with this. It's so delicious, I'm telling you, you need to give it a shot. And so anyways, that's a little bit more of behind the scenes of Sweet Red Dirt. Uh, and uh, I think I showed you what it looks like on screen, but just in case, uh, for those that want to see it, what it looks like, it's coarse, it's that balance of being coarse and not too powdery. And that particularly is because I want it, whenever I'm cooking on pork chops, uh, steaks, uh, things like that, and chicken, I want it to be a little bit coarse as well to help it caramelize really well and stick to the meat. So again, uh, this is a delicious rub. Gotta go for it, it's right there. Mm. Yes. Well, my friends, let me know what you think so far of Sweet Red Dirt. I'd love for you to try it. We're running a special for Father's Day. And if you watch this after Father's Day, always look on bartlowsbarbecue.com and look for the current code. We're always running different uh, discounts to make it easy for you to try. Uh, put it in the comments, let me know what you think. But the code for Father's Day is Father's Day 23. Again, check the banner for current codes whenever you're watching uh, this video. And once you give it a shot, put in the comments, let me know, come back here, let me know what you think. And then my friends, we're doing a huge giveaway once the channel hits 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna be giving away a Kamado Joe, a few other things. We'll be giving away some bottles of Sweet Red Dirt. And I cannot wait uh, to do that. So I'd love for your support of sharing this video and any video to help us continue our growth and building a community uh, that really produces less hate, more love, good barbecue. And also let me know what other things you'd like this channel to be cooking with this new Sweet Red Dirt Rub and Seasoning. Thanks for watching. From my backyard to yours, less hate, more love.
good barbecue.